Got there, but it's a knife defense. I'm gonna show you what they show you guys oftentimes in the cardio capoeira classes. He's gonna, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna try to cut me with a knife some kind of way. I'm gonna do the cadera, uh, cardio capoeira style, and you see why you don't do that. Okay, ready? <laughs> you get slashed almost immediately. Now, why is that? Because you're doing your jinga and you come right back to where you came from because you're a smart person. You know, right? Like, look what happened to the guy with a knife is doing that. He's facing you, go right here, you're gonna step right back. He says, wait for your dumb butt to come back over here. Or, even if you even if you say, no, I'm gonna try to get away, you hesitate. Watch. Come in here, you try to get away, you gotta wait, bam, you get stabbed again. Watch the way we do it. Okay? Not even a full fighting jinga, just the transitions of the fighting cadera. Okay? Pay very close attention. So this is position recognition, heightened width and depth of manipulation, and threat recognition. All right? These concepts, over and over and over again. All right? Freestyle. I don't know what he's going to do, but you know what I'm going to do. All right? And? Bam. Immediately. I don't wait. I go and get the knife. You see that? I don't wait. I go and get the knife. I know he's going to try to get me with the other hand. Can you see me? Clear? Come on. I'm going to come in here. Bam. Jam this hand. In close. Heightened width and depth manipulation again. Come here. Watch the hand. Turning the hand here, boom, head goes down. Turning the wrist is forcing the height, the width manipulation, okay? I just transitioned from the forward cadera into the side cadera. This gives me, bring you in closer, this gives me all the options we talked about when we're unarmed. When we're unarmed. So can you see what I'm at? I shot in a purpose so I can hook this leg, drive him down, I've got this weapon now. Now things are bad for you. <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do. Or, what we can do is, one of the very best defenses in the world when somebody pulls a knife. Ready? <laughs> you win! Follow me, follow me, follow me. You run away. Okay? Run away. That's your first line of defense. Well, actually, it's your second line of defense. First line of defense is don't be where the guy with the knife at is. Second one is run away. If you can't run away, use your computer the way I said to use it. Focus on the sternum. See all of his weapons. Use your height, width, and depth manipulation. When he has a knife, don't be afraid of it. Because he's going to try to get you anyway. He's going to come and do something. Come on. He's going to come and do something, right? You can't, you can't let that happen. You see that turn here? He turns that turn here. Bam! I'm turning away from him. Immediately strip this lip. This is height, width, and depth manipulation again. Turning here. Turning this way. Width manipulation. Turning that arm for the head. See that head coming back? It's height. Down whip. Right here. Slashing with the weapon. That'll give you a width. That cause him to arch or bend. When I turned him this way, when I turned here, watch his back. When he came in, I, I blocked right here, watch his back. That's the that's the, the, the arch and the whip. See how his head came down? That's a, that's a height manipulation, okay? Turn the wrist, force the shoulder to turn. That's the width manipulation. Remember, height, depth, width. You want to do as much of those forces the body to, 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 to be, be manipulated in a structural way as much as possible with every single offensive you can launch. Okay? If you do that, there's nothing he can do to you. And you can do whatever you want to him. And then you can do